Francis Tumble T. C. 1833? The 28th of May 1903 was an Irish-born American medical quack who earned a small fortune posing as an Indian herb doctor throughout the United States and Canada. He was an eccentric self-promoter and was often in trouble with the law. He has been put forward as a suspect for the notorious and still unsolved Jack the Ripper murder. Spree in Whitechapel, London, in 1888. Early Life According to the 1850 United States Census, Tumble T was born in Ireland. Career Tumble T set himself up in business, initially in Detroit. In 1858 he returned to Rochester apparently a rich man, making an ostentatious display of his wealth and new social standing, and claiming that it had been achieved through patenting of his medicinal cures. Federal tax records show he was in Maryland in early 1863. On May 5, 1865, he was arrested in St. Louis and taken to Washington on orders of the Secretary of War for alleged complicity in the Abraham Lincoln assassination, simply because he was an acquaintance, which he denied, of David Harold, who was captured with John Wilkes Booth. There was nothing to tie him to the plot. However, and Tumble T was released without charge on May 30th. Tumble T appeared to revel in denouncing all women, but reserved a special hatred for prostitutes. He blamed his misogyny on a failed marriage to a prostitute. Jack the Ripper Suspect Tumble T visited Europe several times, including Ireland, Scotland, England, Germany, and France. He claimed to have been introduced to Charles Dickens and King William and to have provided treatment to Louis Napoleon, for which he was awarded the Cross of the Legion of Honor. Professional police officers and amateur historical researchers Stuart Evans and Paul Ganey. The Metropolitan Police arrested Tumble T on 7 November 1888 on unrelated charges of gross indecency apparently for having been caught engaging in a homosexual encounter, which was illegal at the time. Tumble T was mentioned as a ripper suspect by former Detective Chief Inspector John George, little child of the Metropolitan Police Service in a letter to journalist and author George R. Sims, dated 23 September 1913. Other ripperologists have dismissed Tumble T as a plausible ripper suspect, citing the fact that his appearance and age did not match the description of any of the men that were seen with the murder victims, and that his relatively tall height of at least 5 feet 10 inches and enormous mustache would have made him particularly conspicuous. Tumble T was named as the most likely ripper suspect by a professional criminal profiler and a forensic handwriting analyst in the Jack the Ripper episode of History Channel's Miss Request. Last years, Tumble T returned to Rochester and moved in with an elderly female relative, whose house also served as his office. 